Capito. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank all of you, and thank you for your willingness to serve. I do want to amplify uh, concerns of my colleagues who represent states in the TVA service territory. Senator Wicker, Leader McConnell, and others are frustrated, as I am, that approximately a year has passed since uh, the president nominated TVA board members, but he has still not put forth a nominee for Kentucky or Mississippi. We've raised this issue. Also, representation from Alabama is now needed because the pending nominee withdrew. So these are, you know, the geographic representation on the board are not new. We know that this is important to get good decision and good decision making uh, for the entire board. And I'm troubled by the break with precedent and urge the administration to finally address these uh, deficiencies by nominating qualified individuals from Alabama, Kentucky, and Mississippi. With that, I'd like to just ask uh, Ms. Moore a question uh, and um, to uh, uh, ask about her views on uh, fossil energy generation, which is 40% of TVA's power. Um, since your renomination uh, this year, you've made your Twitter account private, but I had the opportunity to review tweets that were publicly available on your account last year. The reason I bring this up is it's sort of an unvarnished view of what what the opinions, what your true opinions would be, might maybe might be more frank than what we can get in a, um, a hearing. So very quickly, um, you tweeted the following in December of 2018 in response to a Wall Street Journal article. The article was OPEC and Russia agree to cut oil output by 1.2 million barrels a day, lifting crude prices. You said, if we moved to EVs and kept mileage standards high in the transition, it wouldn't matter that foreign dictators collude to raise oil prices to make themselves rich while impoverishing others, including Americans. Oil is like opioids, keeps you sick and poor. I come from a state where opioids are not to be uh, trivialized or the use of them. There is another tweet. Um, this one is a similar tone. Uh, you tweeted, for example, that fossil fuels like oil and gas are not safe at any stage of their life cycle. So how would you respond to that if you're going to serve on a board that it has 40% fossil fuels as their power generation? Thank you so much for your question, Senator. I think the, you know, the, my first response for that would just be the spirit in which I would undertake any, any decisions or any consideration of future fossil fuel um, uh, choices by TVA and TVA's current diverse mix. And that would be, you know, number one, with the spirit of gratitude. I know that fossil fuels um, help to fuel the Industrial Revolution, help to bring countless families out of poverty, and also help to bring us closer together by fueling our vehicles and, do, and fueling airplanes. And if blessed to be confirmed to serve on the TVA Board of Directors, uh, I would also approach any decisions uh, absolutely in the spirit of the mission of the TVA, uh, which is to balance uh, economic development, uh, environmental quality, and maintaining affordable energy, including resilient, reliable energy for the future. So when you say that the oil and gas are not safe at any stage of their lifestyle, you're kind of going away from that in the statement that you're making right now? I don't think that having gratitude for the good work that uh, oil and gas have done for not just American society, but human, f human civilization is uh, in conflict you know, with looking towards a future where we have abundant uh, additional uh, sources of energy and new technologies that are uh, emerging that enable us to move forward. Well, I, I would, would point out to, thank, thank you for that, same. that TBA, the purchase renewal over the last three years hasn't even gone up. It's only at 5%, so mm -hmm. it, that presents a challenge. So for my final minute, I would like to yield to my colleague from Iowa, mm -hmm. uh, Senator Ernst. Yes, thank you, uh, Senator Capito. And Ms. Gear, as you stated in your written testimony, you believe one reason you should be confirmed to serve in the TVA, the Tennessee Valley, is because of your ability to, quote, build relationships and work together, end quote. Is that correct? Thank you, Senator. Yes, that is correct. And you believe civility is a fundamental aspect of your role on the Tennessee Valley Board, if confirmed? I absolutely do, Senator. Yes, and thank you for answering those questions honestly, and I think it appears to be a recent sentiment. If you'll take a look at the tweet that we also found, that's me with darker hair, much shorter, in 2015. So you can see that um, Beth uh, Gear tweeted out at Fox News and at Senator Joni Ernst, hideous. Can you explain that tweet? 
I can't read it. I apologize. That's not a way of getting out of answering the question. But what I just read it to you. Well, you I, I heard that. Sorry. But what was the quote? The quote is, the new Republican Congress also understands how difficult these past six years have been from my State of the Union response in 2015. Senator, Senator Capito's time has expired, so we'll allow you to answer the question, but then we have to move on to the next witness, so please. Okay. Well, I apologize if I offended you, and I appreciate your bringing it to my attention, and I do, in fact, believe that civility uh, is key, and I'm sorry that I did not demonstrate that in your uh, opinion with that. And if Senator no, Ernst would like to, uh, I, you could, I would like you to could respond, return Senator to, you, you, Markey, you could return to be recognized on your own time. I will after wait. Thank, thank you, Mr. Senator. Mr. Inhofe and I are recognized. We'll Absolutely. Glad to recognize thank you on your own time. 